my voice is clear. Is it? OK, thank you. OK, I welcome you for uh, this session. Uh, today we will cover. Inshallah, we're still in book two. Uh, session five. Managing a retail store. Uh, we have covered the uh, aspects of retail managers role, which is chapter two and uh, managing the workforce, the human resource for real store, retail store, and uh, we move to managing customers, uh, how to keep customers uh, with us, chapter four, and then this is the last chapter in book two, which is managing a retail store, okay? Uh, I welcome you all for this session. And let's start. Uh, this is the outline for this chapter. Managing retail store outline. First, we discuss day to day operations. And visual merchandising, space productivity and replenishment. Uh, stock management uh, and then which is the management of replenishment by supplier or employed specialist in the retail store and then we go to framework for the assessment of retail shrinkage uh, we discussed the technology in retail store, computer, uh, information, information uh, technology, information system, uh, data and customer relationship uh, management, which is CRM, CRM. And then we come to the uh, conclusion, okay? So, <clears throat> we start with day-to-day -day operations. Day-to-day uh, -day operation is the uh, uh, conducting the operational plan, either for one uh, retail store or several retail stores if you have branches uh, country-wise or city-wise or uh, area so some stores let's have an example if we if we see here see here for uh, 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 grocery stores we have banda we have uh, uh, al Usaim, for example several branches in a, a city in jidda uh, so day-to-day -day operations means the uh, the operational plans executions uh, in in retail store management day-to-day uh, -day means hour by hours okay so uh, if we see that the, the the retail store uh, uh, the retail store uh, what we call uh, uh, specification or we we can say uh, frankly, retailing is an ever-changing business with tasks and priorities often changing daily. Uh, you're surprised when you go to, for example, to go to any store, for, to go to Banda, and you know the, the, the layout for, for the, 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 the retail store. Uh, if it's happened that you go today and... Uh, you go yesterday and you go today and you find some changes uh, in decorations, in uh, in uh, changing the the area of stocks, changing the area of uh, materials, products, in uh, presenting the, the the material in the shelves. Why they do this? They do just this to keep customers. Uh, 
to keep customers uh, feel this such change and uh, to keep him uh, uh, come again and again, uh, okay, for long period. So uh, always changeable, always changeable. So it's one of the retail store characteristic. It's always changeable, okay? Changing daily, often changing daily. <coughs> Responsibility for the day-to-day -day operations of a store lies with the store managers, the store managers, either if, uh, whether if he is the, the manager for one store or the manager for uh, double store, uh, or stores or, or, or multi-stores, uh, different branches. So, uh, Responsibility lies on him as store managers, okay? A store manager's duty extent will beyond the management of staff. It's not only managing my employees in, in the retail store, no. It's go beyond that extent will beyond the management of staff management of stocks, management of customers, management of uh, security, management of uh, 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 presentation, management of uh, so many things inside the, the, the retail store, not only staff. So you are not only managing your staff, but you manage everything inside the stores. So among these duties, uh, of store managers, uh, we can say a manager working for a multiple retailer must put into full and effective operation in branches at all times the company policies and procedures. He should stick to the manual of company's policies and procedures. He should not work from his mind, no. He should follow the rules and regulations, the policies and procedures that put in the, the manual. He should follow the manual, okay? So this would make him a successful manager if he followed the manuals and he, would, he wouldn't take actions from his mind, but according to the company policies and procedure. So, first thing of his duties that he should he should follow the company policies and procedures from the manuals day-to-day -day operations of the branch must be organized and must be directed to its full trading potential what do you mean by trading potential <clears throat> he should be aware of any trading potential comes or occurs. Uh, for example, we are in November, okay? Uh, many stores in Europe and United States celebrate Halloween because it's November and so the trading potential here is Halloween, Halloween uh, uh, celebration. And we come to uh, December, we have the the Christmas time. Uh, it's trading potential. Uh, Ramadan is trading potential. Eid is trading potential. Hajj is trading potential. Weekend is trading potential. When you, when a, a, a shop close to the mosque, every Friday is trading potential. Okay, so this kind of trading potential should be uh, considered by the store manager. These are uh, some duties that the store managers should have. In terms of sales, uh, he should achieve budgeted sales. This budgeted sales uh, uh, determined or cleared in the forecasting budget. Forecasted budget uh, cleared the, 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 the sales target. So, he should achieve at least this target uh, according to the forecasted budget or forecasted plan. 
in terms of cost, he should maintain the lowest possible cost. Maintain controllable, controllable cost within a budget. Uh, this cost, uh, uh, like uh, air condition cost, lighting cost, telephone cost, uh, labor cost. Okay, he should maintain the, the lowest possible cost in operation. And in terms of profit, his duty is to achieve, achieve the return of investment uh, uh, listed in, in, in the forecasted budget uh, for a certain period, either gross profit or net profit for a certain period, quarterly, six months or yearly. In terms of stock balance, stock, he should, the store manager should maintain a level of stock within the current budget to keep stock shortage to a minimum, to a minimum. He should not exceed or spend that much or spend highly cost in buying items and putting them in shelves uh, I mean, regardless the ratio of rotation, okay? So sh he should study the, 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 uh, the, the, the I mean, the selling uh, movement for every item and keep the minimum stock, the minimum stock level, okay? Uh, because when he keeps the minimum stocks, he keeps the cost in the minimum level, because these items it it cost it cost money, and when you when you when you put this into shelves without any movement, this means that you spend money in nothing without without returns. So he should maintain a level of stock within a current budget to keep stock shortage to a minimum, to count and record stock in the branch from time to time as required by company policy. He should do physical account, physical counting for each item and, and should uh, compare this with the, the counting in, in the system. Because many times, store uh, retail stores facing problems of theft, problems of damages, problems of paper errors. So he should keep recording and 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 counting the items physically, and compare this with system. In terms of buying, he should ensure that if local buying is permitted, then purchases are made only in line with company policy. Okay, he should again, he should follow the manual of company policy, taking into account the total budgeted stock holding. Okay, according to the according to the forecasting budget. In terms of presentation, he should maintain standards of display and presentation that encourage retail trade and contribute to the identity the company wishes to project. This uh, entails sales areas, windows, shop front to be maintained in clean and tidy condition. Sometime, if you go to the grocery store and you want to buy uh, fruits or vegetables and you find uh, dust, uh, vegetables are not cleaned, fruit are not clean, would you buy it? No, you will not, you will not buy such items which is not clean. Maybe you find bugs in it and you may, maybe 
No, it's, it, it doesn't look good for, for, for human being. So, manager duties, manager's duties include that he should make, make sure that this presentation is, these items will present it in terms of clean and tidy condition, okay? Uh, not only the items, but also the trolleys, the customer use, the toilets, if, they, if there are toilets there, the restaurant, if there is a restaurant, ca 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 cafe, all this should be uh, well presented, okay? Very clean and tidy condition. Uh, staff rooms, uh, stock areas, all this. All merchandise is displayed in line with company standards, including the open display line of, uh, appropriate to all grades of branch. Should be standard in all branches, okay? Uh, the correct price, marking, and ticketing of products should be in the product, in each product itself, in each, each item. So this is a system, it's, it's company policy, it's company procedure, it's company system. So he should follow, especially if you are within the anchor names in a certain line, like Banda, like, uh, like Athem, like uh, uh, if, if you are selling uh, Rolex watches, if you are selling uh, uh, these uh, brand names. So you should keep the level of the brand name. Uh, in terms of sales promotion, he should carry out company sales promotion policy. Okay, and also it has, the company has the manual for promotion policy, for promotion procedure. Execute, execute local sales promotion in agreement with the area manager. If, if there are many different branches and there there is an area manager so he should uh, coordinate and and, uh, and 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 coordinate with the area manager in terms of staff the employee for 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 the retail store he should ensure by interview and selection that branch is properly staffed in terms of quantity, number of employees, in terms of employees specification, uh, qualification, education, training, and he should control staff training. Training is very important, very essential for the staff in the retail stores. Uh, in terms of premises, he should arrange and he should be aware of how to protect, how to maintain building, machinery, and equipment. Equipment, lifting equipment, uh, any kind of uh, cashier machine, any kind of equipment used in the retail store. Uh, in terms of administration, carry, he should carry out procedures and observe legislation that surrounds retailing, okay? In terms of communication, he should establish and maintain means of communication within branch companies' objectives. Uh, what, what we mean by maintaining means, for example, he, sh he, he might consider establishing call center, he might send emails, he might uh, establish database for customers. He might classify his customers into ranking. So this kind of communication, he should be aware and do it. Uh, uh, what we discuss now is the duties. Now we come to uh, measuring a manager's performance. Okay, how we measure the management 
performance. There are two ways. According to trading skills or and according to management skills. So the trading skills means spot opportunities with the retail business environment in order to maximize store profit. So the sense of trade, does he have the sense of trade? Does he uh, know how to deal with trade opportunities? As we said, Christmas, Halloween, uh, uh, Ramadan, Eid, Hajj. Okay, can he deal? Can he uh, uh, deal with this trading opportunities in very professional way, professional manner, professional skills? to gain more profit, to get more return for the company. Okay, this is uh, one line of measure, one line of measurement, trading skills. Does he have the trading skills or not? Okay, how we measure the trading skills from the results that uh, we got for each uh, retail store. Uh, other line, which is management skills, uh, which means maximizing resource under manager's control. He has to balance demand of customers and store capacity. Can he balance, uh, which means uh, the balance between demand of customers and store capacity means that he keep the stock in the minimum level, which means that never customers come to the store and find no items. Okay, never. And also, never the cost of item display in the store would cost too much amount of money exceeding the budget forecasted budget so this is the balance okay uh, managing store assess to achieve best performance at an optimum cost under customers merchandise store workforce store physical resource okay these items uh, would be considered in uh, uh, measuring the management skills. Measuring store productivity, uh, is it productive or not? Most effective way of measuring productivity is to calculate ratios. This is very important items. I, I wish you concentrate on these ratios and how to calculate it. Uh, to calculate ratios of resource to result. Now we have resource in one hand and we have results in the other hand. So we make ratios between the one to the other one, okay? I give you example, profit per square meter of selling space. Now, now suppose, suppose the retail stores is, uh, uh, in 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 1,000 square meters. Okay, we have 1,000 square meters as retail store, and we make a profit yearly profit yearly profit one million reals, for example. Okay, which means that every one square meter we make 1,000 reals out of one square meter. This is the ratio. One square meter would result 1,000 reals profit. Okay, this is the ratio. So what is the cost of this square meter? If the cost of this square meter is more than 1,000, more than 1,000 yards, then we are in losses, right? Then we should make higher percentage or higher ratio of 
profit per square meters of selling space. Okay, because 1,000 is not enough. Some of ratios used to measure performance are so well established that it is possible to compare productivity levels to industry norms. Sometimes we have a standard industry norms in terms of profit, in terms of all ratios concerned the retail business. For example, we can say uh, grocery retail would make 15% return on investment, 15%. This is the industry norms. So if we make in grocery store, retail store, if we make 18% net profit return, 18%, which means that we made a profit higher than the industry norms, okay? How is particular store performing against similar stores across the retail industry? This is question. Okay, and these are the measures of productivity for retail stores. In terms of sales, we can measure it as sales per hour. If the total sales value for a day, eight hours, is 800 reals, which means for eight hours, which means that we are selling 100, uh, one, uh, uh, 100 reals per hour. If you work eight hours and the total sell 800, it, this means that the rate is 100 per hour, okay? Okay, if we have two employees in this store, this means that we make 100, one, we make 50 reals, we make 50 reals sales value per, per a person, per individual, per hour, okay? because we have 100 per hour and we have two employees. So we have, uh, we have made 50 reals sales value per person per hour. So this is what you mean labor cost per activity. So how much it costs us for one employee to do this 50 reals? Is it higher or, or lower? This is ratio staff cost as percentage of sales okay average wages cost per hour okay how much we pay him per month so how much will be his wage per hour because he's only selling 50 reals per hour customers sales per customer okay now if we have uh, a total sales value of 800 reals per day, eight hours, and we count the customers, 10 customers came to the shop and bought the items. So means that each customer in average, they bought for, uh, eight, for 80 reals. Okay, 80 reals per customer by value numbers of items we can also get this ratio as well merchandise items items per time period space sales per meter of selling space per square meters general management we can have this measures ratio which are gross margin return on investment before deducting the, uh, the indirect cost, uh, gross profit margin per square meters, if we have the total area and we divide the gross profit to uh, by the square 
by the total area, net profit per square meter by dividing net profit uh, by the total area, reduction as a percentage of sales, consumption as a percentage of sales. Okay, these are ratios uh, to measure the productivity of a uh, retail store. The more the higher percent, percentage, the more productivity. The higher percentage is, the more productivity, okay? Okay, visual merchandising, space, productivity, and replenishment. Merchandise display, which means the way in which products presented for for sale are displayed in store. Visual merchandising activity which coordinates effective merchandise selection with effective merchandise display. Visual merchandise is very important, very essential that we take into consideration because we buy, we start, think of the need by seeing the product by eyes. So we see it, we touch it, and then we love it, we take it, we buy it. So it's very important to, 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 to have an artist to plan for display, merchandise display. Visual merchandising management function, which include layout, furniture, product selection, presentation, and packaging, and decoration would come into it, colors would come into it, lighting. So three items, architecture, building base elements, point of sale display, at till points, for example, merchandise display, amount of space allocated to a given product. For example, uh, if you if you sell uh, fashion, fashion, you you would only put three fashion style into into the the the. Uh, into the, the, the front uh, window, okay? You put, you, you give or you allocate uh, a reasonable space for each fashion. Visual merchandising is more important in some retail sector than others. And as I said here, fashion is one example. Especially if you have uh, uh, brand names like Rolex watches, Christian Dior. So you should concentrate and you should take into consideration the visual merchandising uh, uh, presentation. Visual merchandising responsibility may be part of corporate marketing or separate role at board level. It's very important, so advertising and display of a centralized teams, retail brand identity controlled across all outlets, vice versa prevent retailer from reflecting local themes and preferences. Okay. It could be centralized team for a retail brand identity from the supplier as well because they want a display level in the same level quality wise of the brand. Sometimes multi outlet retailer may use a team of original merchandiser who travel between retailers store within a given area. They might send a team from the original factory Rolex from Switzerland, they, they would come 
and show and train your staff, your people, how to display the Rolex watches. Merchandising for brand impact in women fashion retail concession. Concession retailing in a store is interesting because concessionary brand retailers have to present their merchandise distinctively within a cultured retail environment of a store, which also accommodates the store own branded merchandise. You should consider the brand names. You should con consider the level of quality of the items because you are selling them in high price. So the, the customer wouldn't pay that high price if, you, if he doesn't see a good presentation uh, of the quality brand name. Aspects of visual merchandising that have most influence on customers, on consumers purchasing intention. And this influence from color, from presentation style, from awareness of fixtures, creation of a high quality image through the use of wooden hanger, for example, sensory qualities of the materials and lighting. You should play with lighting to, to have a good visual display. Stock management, this is the third duties stock management, management of replenishment by supplier specialist. Information based sales and stock planning system are used everywhere. Now, nowadays we have computer and we have database, okay? And easily to calculate promise Promise sales performance improvement through better on on shelf availability. Sophisticated computer used to calculate replenishment stock required. It's very easy now. However, data on which this replenish, replenishment is based and which is used to calculate sales forecast and orders is wrong if store stock are provided ineffectively. If you don't have trained employees, if you don't have a good system, okay, so it should match. Framework for the assessment of retail shrink, uh, shrinkage. Uh, what, what do you mean by shrinkage? Shrinkage is reduction in inventory through factors such as shoplifting, employee theft, paperwork errors sometimes by accountant, supplier fraud from the supply, uh, some damages from shoplifting, employees, they take items with them home, it increases retail cost. The shrink me the shrinkage means retail cost. And also, in the other hand, it threatens sales because once the customer didn't find the items he wants, he might not come again. Okay? He might take a bad or negative opinion or negative reaction. So clarity and consistency are required when measuring shrinkage. Goods not accounted for identified where there is a discrepancy. Discrepancy between book stock and physical stock because you have to, to do a physical accounting for items displayed in the shelves and you should match this and check it with the book stock. Book stock record of those goods held by company, okay? Because according to us received 
received uh, item received so book stock me uh, equal results from the last physical stock count the last physical stock count for example last month the end of last month plus net movement incoming incoming stock incoming items either from wholesaler or from factory or from other branches and net movement means either purchasing or incoming transfer from other branches and this all should minus should be minus sales for the same period okay so we have the inventory control we have the inventory for the last for for last the the, the, the last date we, we account and we add net movement which is purchasing or coming from from other branches minus sales for the speed so this would give a book stock discrepancies between book stock and physical stock will come to light following a physical audit of a company if you have discrepancy between both so if you should have audit to come through this by the company shrinkage problems have been linked to particular particular razor blades alcohol why because there there is a big demand on these two items for example locations processes goods received self checkout type of people employees shift lifter suppliers times store closer early morning okay so all these as factors that to be considered in calculating shrinkage problems gathering data about shrinkage is itself costly because you have some some skills individuals to do it and it costs that's the three major areas on which retailers might concentrate data measurement and comparison in order to reduce shrinkage these three are stewardship and performance improvement and cost reduction and sales improvement these two and three local effects of system issues first stewardship and performance improvement retail stores <coughs> needs to make a conservative estimate of the value of goods itself of the value of goods itself this may be the lower of either the purchase cost or the net realizable value so we should be conservative in estimating the value of of goods uh, performance improvement implies a change to maximize business return okay retail store needs to highlight profit lost as a result of any shrinkage and focus on sale value of product that have disappeared stewardship means safe and conservative running of any store operations along prescribed lines net re re realizable value means amount which assets can be sold for minus the cost involved in selling cost reduction and sales improvement when we reduce cost of shrinkage 
this may enable profit to be increased, of course, because the the shrinkage cost would cut the profit margin. Okay, so the the as much as we reduce shrinkage, this means we increase our profit possibility. Cost of dealing with shrinkage include cost of measuring shrinkage itself, cost of installing and maintaining security equipment, cost of paying store detectives, security guards, cost of providing security tagged products, okay? All this include in cost of shrinkage. Okay, here are opportunities for reducing shrinkage and on the other hand, improving sales. Characteristic, sales improvement opportunities from shrinkage reduction. Value for money shopping, reduction in shrinkage cost and cost effective shrinkage management leverage to reduce price of goods and drive sales. If we don't have shrinkage cost, we can give discount. We can reduce the price. We can make better sales, more selling. On shelf availability, automated store replenishment triggers reordering when sales reduce recording inventory below uh, 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 a threshold shrinkage can cause stock outs to occur before the inventory reordering uh, threshold is reached. Once this situation is reached, further sales cannot occur. Replenishment will not be triggered until the inventory record is manually reset. Okay. Now, when you stop shopping, fear of shrinkage can prevent retailers stocking items perceived as being at risk. Overcoming the threat of shrinkage encourage the retailer to stock a wide assortment and this would be costly. Good shopping experience. Fear of shrinkage can lead retailers to defensively merchandise products, removing the causes of shrinkage and implementing alternative solutions that counter the, the threat of shrinkage can allow good to be openly merchandised. Open merchandising improve the shopping experience and tend to increase sales. Okay, safe visit, over security measures, and a hardline attitude by employees can promote a perception amongst shoppers that there is a threat to safety. Sensitive yet robust operations management can provide a safe environment in which to work and shop that is compatible with a good shopping experience. Local effects of systemic issues. Shrinkage a symptom of a range of issues. For example, bottle is dropped in the store. Okay, bottle is dropped in the store and broken. Taken in isolation, shrinkage may result in employee 
who dropped the case from a systemic perspective, perspective, this incident is a consequence of several factors. Employees, employee was in a hurry as they had been called away from, from shelf replenishment to serve on the busy checkouts in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, in the busy time. Management's ability to evaluate in incidents mean that subsequent shrinkage losses could be reduced. It depends on the management ability. Okay. As we said, shrinking is a cost. So how we reduce these losses is a cost losses. This border view might require attention to corporate policies on product design, replenishment quantity, layouts, and staff dis discipline. Staff discipline, staff training, to be professional. Technology has a huge role in monitoring shrinkage. Technology in retail store data and customer relationship management, CRM. This is very important. Technologies help retailers develop sophisticated computer design, CRM, customer relationship management. It's a management of mutually beneficial relationship between customer and supplier, and may be viewed as a continuous process which enable retailers to use data to select and develop long-term relationship with most profitable customers. Now, you can see that many retail store, they get your data from, from your transaction, from, from your sales. Because this database is very important to them. Retailer needs to invest in resources, capital equipment, human resource, employees, trained employees to meet changing needs through customer relationship management. So they invest, they invest in equipment, they invest in trained employees in data center, in call center. So if right resources result modify how they respond toward customers by anticipating needs change, they keep following up the, the customer behavior and the customer loyalty to the shop. If I need anything, any, if I need any medicine, I would go direct to Nahdi. Why? Because I have long-term relationship with Nahdi. For example, I would go to al Ithim if I want to any grocery stuff. Then reshape organization and employees' behaviors toward customers by training, by giving them training. Build knowledge at different stages along supply chain from manufacture to consumption, maximize sales through development of close relationship between the customer and the retail store. So customer relationship management is a philosophy which enable retailer to establish and develop strategies to encourage customer loyalty. You gain customer loyalty by establishing consumer relationship management and long-term relationship with the customer. So the lifetime customer value is reflecting 
by reflected by the time the, the by by the numbers of visiting he pay to your retail store value of a customer to retailer based on how much money he will spend in each visit to store over all visits during lifetime against cost of keeping that customer which is you invest with the retail store invest in in terms of machines in terms of labors in terms of call center in terms of whatsoever just to establish customer relationship uh, division customer lifetime value end up to is more than one transaction end up to more than one transaction it's an ongoing relation beneficial for both parties for the customer that he get the benefits of the product he bought and the retail store that they get the money in order to implement successful customer relationship management system there are many considerations but perhaps the most important factors are to to what to have a customer focus which then guides the development of the customer relation system management to have a common database and integrated information system that allows all the staff involved in dealing with the customer to have access to the customer information all stuff in marketing in selling they should have an access to this customer relationship management system and to have an information system which is flexible so that it can meet changing requirement both from operational and strategic uh, uh, perspectives and then we have sustainability and ethics in the retail store by using database information system and technology retailers are becoming expert at gathering and analyzing and interpreting interpreting customer data they have so many data for each individual customer so they analyze they interpret uh, interpret interpreting customer data this helped them to devise effective customer relation relationship management strategies loyalty they buy the loyalty they invest in the loyalty loyalty cards one of method one method that keep customers come again and again like nahdi pharmacy you subscribe membership and they give a discount they give you points like al athem as well so loyalty card is one method allows retailers to transfer data transform data on cons- consumer behavior into warm relationship long warm relationship and into honest customer la- loyalty founded on mutual trust reflecting on ethics of a loyalty scheme there are financial reward for both buyer and seller for both the customer and the uh, the store retail store a loyal customer returns regularly to to same store and rewards retailer by making regular purchase every time he purchases every time he buy he spend money he pay money and retail retailer may provide tailored discount 
So if you are a member in and you have the loyalty card, so you are eligible to be given 15%, 20%. Okay? So you are rewarding the customer for his for his coming again and again. Quality of relationship is fundamental to the overall success of retailers, consumer, retail, uh, consumer relationship management initiatives. Trust and commitment are very important to developing long-term relationship in consumer relationship management. Trust only exists when one party has confidence in an exchange partner's reliability and integrity. When I trust Nahdi Pharmacy, when I trust any kind of pharmacy, any name, I, I should be very confident on their product and their, in their, in their behavior, how they meet me, how they deal, how they make the deal, how they, everything is comfortable to me. That's why I selected them. Okay, that's the last transparent. Last uh, slides. Okay, any question? Any question? Uh, yes, Dr. Raj, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Um, do you know about uh, the final exam? Is it if it is uh, include uh, all chapters or not? Uh, all all books, you mean? No. Yes, yes. Y you mean y you mean the chapters? Yes, all weeks or not? No, not all chapters, not all books. Uh, no. Okay, which I think I think it will be for cover book three and four. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Any question? Any question? Yes. Okay, so next week, I'll see you next week, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you very much.